Chill, bro. Hey, chill. I just need to show him your foot. Be still. I'll wrestle you to the ground in a minute, bro. Well, what's up, guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead, and today we are we're bringing back the alpaca. Is this going to be a donkey poodle video today? And Rufus is probably not going to be real happy with me today. Um, we haven't shown you guys much of the alpacas lately other than just, just feeding when we feed the goats and stuff. But we need to do a little bit of maintenance. We've had a ton of questions, people asking about what we're going to do about shearing the alpacas and things. And it's not time for that yet. We will get to that point later in the spring when it warms up. Right now we want those alpacas to stay warm, so we're not going to shear them. But we have one other chore that we probably should have already done. We're a little behind on. Um, so I'm going to go, I've already fed the goats. I'm going to see if I can get the alpacas separated. Usually they'll just come right into the pen so that we can separate those girls. Rufus is pretty protective of his girls, so we're going to keep him on the other side of the barn with Big Mac and then the maintenance that we're going to do is on this side of the barn. Maybe he won't get too stressed out because when we get to messing with the girls, Rufus gets a little fired up. Hey, you have to unlock the door before it'll open. Jeez, bear. What do you got? What did you find? Huh? That's gross, buddy. That's gross. So today, <laughs> looky here. Alpacas are all sitting here eating. The goats are off over here. Before we try to separate the alpacas, though, today is officially due date for kidding season. Today is the day on the calendar when the goats are officially due from the time we turned Isaac, our buck, who's over there right now, in with the goats today on the calendar. I went back and looked. Official due date. Now, are we going to have any babies today? I don't know. We shall see. But I know a few girls that are definitely ready. Hey, girls. Come on. Y'all go to your pen. Let's go. Come on, Dolly. Come on, Lucy. Tina. Come on. Hey, you made the wrong turn. Hey, Lambert, you're not an alpaca. Come on, Tina. Hey, Dolly. Lucy, come on. She's like, no, I don't know about this. Let's go, girls. Let's go. Let's go. Good job. Tina, what do you got in your hair? Hmm? Huh? So the chore that I'm talking about that we have to take care of is trimming their hooves. Now, this will be a first for us because we've not trimmed the hooves of these alpacas since we got them. We did trim um, Rufus just a little bit the day we picked him up because he had a couple toes that were in pretty bad shape. But the girls' hooves, I've noticed, um, they're starting to get, you know, go different directions and they're a little out of control. Now the two females are, are older females. Um, Tina, the white one, how old did we say she was? Like 12? The white one? Yeah. That's Dolly. I mean Dolly. The white one's Dolly. Sorry. Yeah. How old did we say she was? Like 12? Mm -hmm. So she's getting up there in years, but we're going to try to trim up their hooves today. We're going to show you that process. It, it, may, be a, it may be an ordeal. <laughs> we're going to put the halters on them, tie them to the fence, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a teamwork. Teamwork kind of day. My wife's trying to feed them apples and they're they know something's up. They're not stupid. This is out of the norm. They know we're up to something. So here we go. Let's try this. Oh, you're interested. You're not getting out, Tina. No. <laughs> the, hmm, I don't think so. This sounds like a terrible idea. Come here, Tina. 
Come here. Come on. This one's Dolly's back. Hang on, hang on. Oh, I need to get this. Oh, oh shit. Got a little briar bush in her head? Yeah. You got your mouth. You don't have to cuss, though. You know that, right? Oh, I forgot you were videoing. Okay. How does my wife forget that I'm videoing? I don't know, but... Oh, got it. I was trying to be easy. Me too. Plucked it right out. Yeah. Come on, Tina. So as you can see, her toe right here is in pretty rough shape. That hoof's not supposed to bend around like that. Um, let me see if I can get her front feet here. So here's a front foot. You can see her toes curling to the outside instead of going straight forward like this one. We want them both to go straight forward. These two look pretty good. So we're gonna try to trim her feet. So typically what people do when they when they work alpacas, they've got a table. I guess it's called a stretcher table. And you tie up their front feet and their back feet and you pull their feet out from under them. And when they lay down, they'll just lay there. It's not a big deal. Um, we obviously don't have a table and this is all new to us. Tina's not real sure about it, but we really do need to get her feet trimmed real quick. And some of those toes are starting to curl out and in and it's not good. So we need to get her trimmed up with as little stress as possible on me and her. Okay, Tina, be still. It's a lot like trimming a goat's hoof. Their hoof is very similar to a goat. So we just want to get kind of the natural line of the hoof. Yeah. So this one's not too bad. You can see they've got a soft pad on their foot, just like a goat. It's not like a like a horse hoof, um, you know, they've got two toes like a goat or a sheep. So just want to trim those toes up. And this time of year when it's muddy, at least with goats, it's a really good idea to keep their feet trimmed. Um, it's kind of why I like to have the Kikos though, because they really don't require their feet to be trimmed. So this alpaca world's new to us. Quit pushing on me, Tina. Stand up. Other side, Tina. Spin around. So you can see how that dirt builds up under there. And you could understand why I'm out of breath. I'm sorry, but <clears throat> in the wintertime, when it's muddy a lot, mud can cake up and build up under there and cause all kinds of foot problems. So I'm just gonna trim those toes up so that they don't curl out like this. It's been growing way too long like that. See how the mud's built up in there? And we may have to come back and do this every month or so right now until we get her feet uh, growing like they should because if you trim too much, it's just like clipping your fingernails. <clears throat> You'll get down into the quick and cause an injury. We don't want to hurt her, so we kind of have to work these out over time. I don't think she had very good hoof care where she came from so we're just going to trim a little bit at a time and hopefully we can get these hooves back in good shape so that her toes don't keep trying to curl out on her be still to you it's okay what are you two doing fixing to be your turn So I got Tina's feet all trimmed up. Um, you guys know when we first brought Tina here, she is the mother of this little alpaca we call Lucy. And she was still nursing. Tina was pretty slim. We wormed her a couple times, which obviously her coat has grown in a lot. It's pretty thick, but when we first got her, her backbone was sticking up pretty bad. When you ran your hand down her, you could really feel her ribs, but 
she's put on a lot of weight we hope she's pregnant we don't know for sure when we bought her the lady that um, that we bought her from said if she's if she's pregnant she should kid or it's not really called the kid that's for goats um, she should have a Kriya um, I think in May or June so hopefully she's pregnant Rufus hasn't shown a whole lot of interest in her lately he's been pretty quiet so maybe she's pregnant but anyways let's let Tina go so she can calm down and not be stressed out and then see if we can catch Dolly and get her feet trimmed she's got a couple toes that are in pretty bad shape too it's all right girl it's all right you're good you're good you're free let's go get your sister <laughs> It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. Whoa. I got you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. That wasn't so bad at all. Now I am. I'm very nervous. So as you can see, Tina's got a got some toes that need some attention. Uh, they're way long, and then you got one here that's starting to curl around. Um, when you look at it from underneath, you may have to come around here. <clears throat> when you look at it from underneath, with her being white and her white skin, you can see this is just a soft pad here. So um, that would be very tender. We don't want to cut into that, but we just got basically toenails, just like on a on a goat or even like on a person. Let's get some of that dirt out of there. Hang on. There. That foot looks a lot better. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not bad at all, Tina. I mean, Dolly, that gum. I can't keep the name straight today. Can I untie you now? Hmm? Ooh, your breath smells really bad. <laughs> you burped. All right, Dolly. You're a pretty good packer. Pretty good old lady. You're free. <laughs> and now it's the baby's turn baby goes last yeah now the fun starts because I know for a fact she's never had her feet trimmed could be a could be a mess you go in the corner there you go there you go <clears throat> you just gonna lay down <laughs> That's one way to go about it. What? How are we going to do this with you? I wonder if I could roll you over. Oh, she didn't like that idea. <laughs> it's all right, Lucy. I'm not going to hurt you. Okay. I know. Your mama's talking to you. I hear her. Mm. Nope, it did not. Okay. <laughs> Someone's concerned. <laughs> I'm afraid that she's going to spit at me. You okay? So I don't know why her hair on her nose is coming off. We have, I promise, it's not from the halter. She has not had a halter on in several weeks. 
Uh, the only thing I can figure is maybe when we were weaning her, you know, we had Lucy separated from her mom, and that's probably where she was trying to put her head through the fence and kept, you know, kept rubbing trying to get to her mom through the fence. That's all I can figure. It's not a, it's not a sore. I mean, it's not, um, not a wound, an injury or anything. She just rubbed the hair off right there. Huh. You ready to get up? You ready to get up? Easy. You got all dirty. Jeez. So if you guys haven't noticed, my wife's a wuss when it comes to the cold. Um, I always say we don't like the cold in Oklahoma. Yeah, and it's really not cold out here today, but... Uh, <laughs> it's cold. She looks like an Eskimo all bundled up. It's probably 55 degrees out here right now. Okay, I'm a little warm in the sun. Yeah, a I little warm. Say. So, we got all three girls' feet trimmed up. Everybody's fine. We have one little small lip injury to Tina, probably where she was rearing up and headbutted the fence. She just busted her lip. It's not bad. So, out of the way I see it, I got all three girls' hooves trimmed. You got to watch me. You got to see how the process goes. I'm not now, good. you get I'm to do not, Rufus. No. That's not even an option. <laughs> no. <laughs> Rufus, Rufus is going to be interesting. His feet shouldn't be in too bad a shape. The problem is, is where he's at with Big Mac, it's just a little bit more muddy. A lot muddy. And Rufus is a little muddy. I don't think his feet are bad, but we're at least going to go take a look and see if they need to be trimmed. And uh, yeah, wish us luck. Mm. It's going to turn into a mud wrestling match, I think. Yeah. Because I want to see my wife just throw him over like we did Lucy there. Because that worked out pretty well with Lucy. She was still for the most part. I mean, I don't think I'm even going to try. <laughs> Let's go see. Hey, Tina. Tina. How's the lip, girl? You all right? Are you all right there? She's got a little lip injury. She's okay. Girls are fine. We're going to leave them here to eat now. Don't, don't jump across there. I don't want you going into the knee deep mud hole. Come here, buddy. Come on. No way I'm hiding. You're all right. I got you. It's all right. That's all right. Don't scare mama. She's a big wuss. Yeah. All right, dude. He's like, what? <laughs> you ready for this? be able to see it on camera. Come here. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Chill. Chill, bro. Hey. Chill. I just need to show him your foot. Be still. Be still. No? You're not into it? You're not digging it? I'll wrestle you to the ground in a minute, bro. Exceptionally well. That was great. <gasps> he said, Well, we see who came out on top. <laughs> he was up for wrestling. No one was injured in the making of this video. <laughs> so, what I was trying to say, I was wanting to show everyone, it's kind of too muddy. But you can see Rufus's toes definitely need trimmed. You gonna stay there, buddy? <laughs> I'm gonna have to change clothes after this. You got me all muddy. Buddy? Oh man, your feet are hard, dude. I don't know about Rufus, but I'm kind of tired. Hey, does uh, Arms Family Homestead have a workman's comp plan? <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, that went in my mouth. <laughs> 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 so 
gross. Oh, good shot, Rufus. <laughs> Not too bad. No bleeding at all. Didn't get in down to the quick. One more foot, buddy. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's all right, Rufus. I got one more foot to go, buddy. Okay? You all right with that, fro man? Oh. Chill, bro. Don't Chill, bro. His, don't touch his fro. Chill, bro. I got one more foot. Oh, my help if I wasn't standing on your fur. Better close your mouth. Mm-hmm. Trying to hide behind this camera. Done. Done. All right, Rufus, can we be friends again? No more wrestling matches? Huh? Oh gosh. So if you guys remember when we brought Rufus, he was, he was by far the, the most unhealthy looking alpaca of the bunch. And it's hard to see on camera, but his fur is, I keep saying fur, it's not fur, it's fleece. But his coat is 10 times better than what it was. <sighs> if you can't tell, I'm out of breath. <laughs> and so is Rufus, okay? We're both breathing hard. But his hair is much, much healthier than what it was. Got some his, company. His spine was really sticking up. A Big Mac coming to see? Mm-hmm. So, I will not be throwing Big Mac on the ground and trimming his feet. <laughs> oh, come on. Not going to happen. But... Rufus says, he's come a long way since we got him. I know that little <clears throat> wrestling match may not have looked real uh, gentle, but he has calmed down a lot since we got him. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. He's not near as wild. He's much, much more used to us coming up. Because before, if you got anywhere close to his head, he panicked and ran and pulled and jumped. But even after the little stressful situation we just had, I think he's doing pretty good. Probably what we do, we talked about taking the, the girls to the vet and see if they're pregnant. Pregnant. Oh <laughs> taking the girls to the vet. Oh my gosh. Hey, I heard footsteps <gasps> creeping in on me. Anyways, we talked about taking the girls to the vet and to do a preg check to see if they were pregnant and uh, having them all. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> he's not doing anything. Big Mac not doing anything. You didn't have to spit on my arm. Here, you can have it back. Anyways, we'll probably have them all, you know, have them all checked out. If we go to the vet, we'll take Rufus with us and get that ear tag taken out. I don't want to do it here and then end up cutting his ear. So while we got him working them and getting them checked up and, and taken care of, we'll get those ear tags out. Uh. Bears a guarding his nasty piece of whatever he's eating on over there. Gross. You're gonna get somebody hurt. Hey bro. Are you next? You gonna let me trim your feet? <laughs> That's close. You're disgusting. Let me take this off. <laughs> so with all the, all the rain we've been getting lately, there's a huge mud hole in front of the barn because that's where Big Mac likes to stay, which he doesn't mind going through the mud. But Rufus and Isaac, our buck goat, stay in here with him, and they absolutely hate the mud. It's kind of funny watching them two. Rufus, let's go. Go, 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 jump, 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 jump. Oh. <laughs> I told you, he don't like to get his feet muddy. <laughs> I blame all this on you, because it's your fault, buddy. All right, chores are done. All the alpaca's feet are trimmed. The donkey poodle's feet, I guess I should say. Um, it's kind of a chore I've been putting off for a while, but thought we'd get out here on a nice warm day. It's cold now. It's, we're in the shade. Nice warm day. And trim their feet. Look, Big Mac, he needs some loving, too. Big Mac doesn't like it when you give everybody else attention. He's kind of like bear. But anyways, 
Their feet are trimmed. They're just like trimming a goat's hooves. Not a big deal. Isaac just made a big leap. Not Isaac. <gasps> Rufus just made a big leap. Anyways, I'm so confused on names. That wrestling match got me all stirred up. I'm out of breath. I thought Isaac, I mean, I thought Rufus. Isaac. <gasps> I thought Rufus was going to kill me for a second. But anyways, they're all trimmed up. Not a big deal. Probably a lot better ways of going about it. Probably a lot more uh, safer ways of restraining them. Eventually, if we keep in the alpaca business, we're going to have to get one of those stretcher setups to where you can stretch them out and handle them without the risk of getting head butted or knocked over or something. But anyways, I told you guys Rufus probably wouldn't like this. Look at him. And uh, he did not. So of, of all the alpacas, <laughs> Rufus gave me the biggest heartache trying to get him uh, trimmed up. But fun. once you get them down on the ground, I was really surprised at how easy it is to keep them down. They're much like a goat. Once you get them over on their back, they really can't fight very well. But anyhow, I guess that's all we got for today. Just a whole uh, adventure trimming hooves. <laughs> so guys, that's all we've got. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. Peace.